Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT, welcomes you to the Alternatives Public Workshop for the State Road 29 Concept Reevaluation Study. This study is reevaluating the previous Project Development and Environment, or PD&E study, approved in 2018. We appreciate your attendance and participation. The purpose of this workshop is to provide you the opportunity to ask questions and offer comments about proposed improvements to State Road 29 from County Road 80A, Cowboy Way, to north of County Road 731, Widden Road, in Henry County. This public workshop is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the projects and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project website at swflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4178788-8. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. Joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the questions box. You can type a comment or question into the questions box, then click send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the handouts icon to see available handouts, click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, type the issue into the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar to report it. You can also send an email to aashby at inwoodinc.com to report it, or call 407-494-1009. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of this reevaluation is to evaluate engineering and environmental data originally studied in the PD&E phase that was approved in 2018. This study will document information that will aid FDOT District 1 and the FDOT Office of Environmental Management in determining the type, preliminary design, and location of the proposed improvements. The original PD&E study proposed improvements that included converting Main Street and Bridge Street to one-way streets. Because of concerns with the one-way pair received after approval of the PD&E study, Additional alternatives are being considered in this concept reevaluation that maintains two-way traffic on these two streets. In addition to maintaining two-way traffic, this study reevaluation will address widening sidewalks along the corridor and consider new intersection concepts at State Road 29 and Cowboy Way, State Road 80 at Main Street and Bridge Street, and Park Avenue at Main Street and Bridge Street. The need for the proposed improvements for State Road 29 is to improve traffic operations, access, and mobility. FDOT anticipates this project will also enhance safety along the project corridor, improve emergency evacuation, and improve connectivity between Hendry and Glades counties. This concept reevaluation will be conducted and completed according to the requirements of the National Environmental Policy Act and other related federal and state laws, rules, and regulations which will qualify future phases of this project for federal funding. For additional information on all rules and regulations this meeting follows, please see the Federal and State Requirements Board. This study involves the reevaluation of roadway and intersection improvement concepts for State Road 29 from County Road 80A, Cowboy Way, to north of County Road 731, Widden Road, in Henry County, a length of approximately 2.6 miles. Part of the state-designated Strategic Intermodal System, SIS, network of Florida, State Road 29 plays an important role in connecting a major east-west transportation corridor. State Road 80, as well as residential and employment centers throughout Hendry and Glades counties. State Road 29 is also critical in facilitating traffic during emergency evacuation periods as it connects to major arterials designated on the state evacuation route network. From Cowboy Way to Park Avenue, State Road 29 is a two-lane urban arterial roadway that includes two 12-foot travel lanes with a 14-foot median turn lane that accommodates northbound and southbound traffic. This section of the project through downtown LaBelle includes paved sidewalks and a 35-mile-per-hour speed limit. From Park Avenue to north of County Road 78, State Road 29 is a two-lane undivided roadway with left turn lanes at major side streets. 
The roadway features a 45 mile per hour speed limit and includes a two lane bridge over the Caloosahatchee River. From north of County Road 78 to County Road 731, Widden Road, State Road 29 is a two lane undivided rural roadway with left turn lanes at major side streets. The roadway also features paved shoulders with a 45 mile per hour speed limit. This is an aerial view of the corridor's proposed improvements. We'll look at these in four sections. Section 1, Main Street South of State Road 80. Section 2, Bridge Street South of State Road 80. Section 3, Main Street North of State Road 80. And Section 4, Bridge Street North of State Road 80. As well as specific intersection alternatives within those sections, let's start with the proposed improvements to each section. Section 1 Main Street south of State Road 80 currently has two 12-foot travel lanes, a center two-way turn lane, undesignated bike lanes, and a six-foot paved sidewalk on the southbound side of the road. Businesses along the corridor provide parking within their parcels. Alternative 1 proposes removing the center turn lane and adding six-foot buffered bike lanes on both sides of the roadway. In addition to the existing sidewalk, a new 10-foot shared-use path with grass buffer would be installed on the northbound side of the roadway. Alternative 2 proposes removing the center turn lane, adding a 12-foot wide shared-use path with grass buffer on the northbound side of the roadway, and a new grass buffer between the existing sidewalk and roadway. This option does not include on-street bike lanes. Section 2 Bridge Street south of State Road 80 currently has two 12-foot travel lanes, a center two-way turn lane, and six-foot paved sidewalk on both sides of the roadway. Businesses along the corridor provide parking within their parcels. Bridge Street will become the designated truck route along State Road 29. With that in mind, the proposed alternative would remove the center turn lane and widen sidewalks to 10 feet on both sides of the roadway with no bike lanes. At points along this section, the sidewalk width would reduce to six feet to provide left turn lanes where needed. Section 3 Main Street north of State Road 80 currently has two 12-foot travel lanes and five-foot paved sidewalk on both sides of the roadway. Large oak trees line both sides of the roadway within this civic corridor. Alternative 1 proposes adding on-street parking along the northbound side of the roadway. Sidewalks would be widened on the southbound side of the roadway to six feet and widened up to 12 feet on the northbound side of the roadway, taking care to curve around existing oak trees. Alternative 2 proposes widening sidewalks on both sides of the roadway up to 10 feet. In this option, sidewalks would reduce to 6 feet in some locations to accommodate existing oak trees. Section 4 Bridge Street north of State Road 80 currently has two 12-foot travel lanes, a center two-way turn lane, and 5-foot paved sidewalks on both sides of the roadway. Historic buildings line both sides of the roadway within this downtown historic district. Alternative 1 proposes widening sidewalks on both sides of the street up to 10 feet. In this option, the sidewalk would reduce to 6 feet to accommodate left turn lanes where needed. Alternative 2 proposes adding a traffic calming roadway design called a chicane in specific locations. The serpentine curve will be accompanied by a 7-foot sidewalk on the northbound side of the roadway and a 12-foot shared use path on the southbound side of the roadway. This study also reevaluated changes at six intersections, Cowboy Way, State Road 80, Park Avenue, Busser Road, River Bend Drive, County Road 78, Nobles Road, County Road 731, Widden Road. As a reminder, this information can be reviewed on the project website and in your handout. Two alternatives are identified for the Cowboy Way intersection, a multi-lane roundabout shown to the right and a signalized rotary intersection shown on a later slide. In the aerial view on the left, the current intersection is a four-way directional stop. The proposed roundabout will lower the speed at which vehicles move through the intersection, enhancing safety, and will also accommodate large truck traffic. In addition, the roundabout will include hybrid beacons for safer pedestrian crossings. This concept provides capacity beyond what is projected for 2040 and provides a signature gateway feature for vehicles entering LaBelle. Next, let's look at how the signalized rotary compares to the existing intersection in the aerial photo on the left. 
Proposed signalized rotary intersection will include signalized short pedestrian crossing paths, two phase signals at all signals, and accommodate large truck traffic. This concept also saves existing oak trees, provides the potential for a signature gateway feature, and opportunities for landscaping and stormwater retention. In addition, this concept also provides capacity beyond what is projected for 2040. Two alternatives are identified for the State Road 80 intersections at Main Street and Bridge Street, a conventionalized intersection shown on the right and the bowtie intersection shown on a later slide. The photo on the right shows both intersections in their existing condition as signalized. The conventional signalized intersection will include signal-controlled pedestrian crossings, dedicated right turn lanes, and provide functional capacity up to 2040. In addition, this concept includes direct left turn access to all intersection legs and increases left turn storage on Main Street. Here we can see how the bowtie intersection compares to the existing signalized intersection in the aerial photo on the left. The proposed bowtie intersection will improve green signal time for vehicles in a few different ways by eliminating the left turn lanes at northbound Bridge Street and southbound Main Street, and eliminating eastbound and westbound State Road 80 left turns onto Bridge Street and Main Street. Vehicles will utilize roundabouts at Hall Street and Lee Street to change direction. This concept also increases safety for pedestrians by providing shortened pedestrian crossings, refuges, and hybrid beacons. This concept requires right-of-way at Hall Street and Lee Street and provides traffic calming and potential gateway features at the roundabouts. Three alternatives are identified for the Park Avenue intersections at Main Street and Bridge Street, a conventional signalized intersection, a signalized Florida T intersection, and a roundabout. Common to all proposed alternatives, there will be no continuous northbound movement along Main Street north of Park Avenue. Additionally, these intersections will transition the two-way pair streets of Main Street and Bridge Street into the divided arterial of State Road 29 north of the river. Here we can see how the conventional signalized intersection compares to the existing intersection in the aerial photo on the left. In the existing condition, Park Avenue is a full median opening with controlled stops at Main Street and Bridge Street. The conventional signalized intersection will include signalized pedestrian crossings, provides connectivity to southbound Main Street via Park Avenue, and maintains connections to Park Avenue east of Bridge Street. This concept minimizes impacts to surrounding properties and provides capacity up to 2040. Next, let's look at how the Florida T intersection compares to the existing intersection in the aerial photo on the left. The Florida T intersection features a continuous northbound travel lane and a continuous southbound bypass lane to Main Street. This concept will include pedestrian push-button activated signals working with the traffic signal. In addition, the Florida T will not impact Barron Park, provides a traffic calming and potential gateway feature, and capacity well beyond 2040. Lastly, let's look at how the roundabout compares to the existing intersection in the aerial photo on the left. The proposed roundabout will lower the speed at which vehicles move through the intersection as well as reducing speed through downtown LaBelle and will accommodate large truck traffic. An additional northbound lane will allow large trucks to navigate the roundabout, similar to the Florida T intersection. Similarly, the southbound traffic over the bridge will have a bypass lane to provide continuous flow to Main Street without having to stop. In addition, the roundabout will include hybrid beacons for safer pedestrian crossings. This concept provides capacity beyond what is projected for 2040 and provides a signature gateway feature for vehicles entering LaBelle. The roundabout will require reshaping the Barron Park parking lot to maintain current parking. The next intersection this study reevaluated is State Road 29 at Booster Avenue, River Bend Drive. The aerial photo on the left shows the existing intersection as a full median opening along State Road 29 with stop controls on Booster Avenue and River Bend Drive. 
The proposed roundabout shown on the right would allow for a continuous flow of traffic through the intersection with controlled right turn movements from Booser Avenue and Riverbend Drive to State Road 29. Additional north and southbound travel lanes will be added with a grassed median. The roundabout will help decrease speeds throughout the intersection, therefore minimizing the number of severe crashes. At County Road 78, also known as Nobles Road, two alternatives are proposed, a signalized intersection shown on the right and a roundabout shown on the next slide. In the existing condition shown in the aerial photo on the left, the intersection is signal controlled. The proposed signalized intersection shown on the right includes separate southbound left and right turn lanes and a northbound left turn lane. The design will also include signalized pedestrian crossings and a grassed median. This concept minimizes impacts to surrounding properties and provides capacity up to 2040. Next, let's look at how the proposed roundabout, shown on the right, compares to the existing intersection on the left. The proposed roundabout would allow for a continuous flow of traffic through the intersection with controlled right turn movements from Nobles Road to State Road 29 and from the existing business driveway to the east. Additional north and southbound travel lanes will be added with a grassed median. The roundabout will help decrease speeds through the intersection, therefore minimizing the number of severe crashes. Lastly, this reevaluation proposes improvements to County Road 731, or Widden Road, intersection. In the existing condition on the left, the intersection has a full median opening with stop controls on Widden Road and Marshall Field Road. The proposed roundabout, shown on the right, would allow for continuous flow of traffic through the intersection with controlled right turn movements from Widden Road and Marshall Field Road to State Road 29. Additional north and southbound travel lanes will be added with a grassed median. Hybrid beacons are also proposed. The roundabout will help decrease the speeds throughout the intersection, therefore minimizing the number of severe crashes. This concept reevaluation is ongoing. Project team members will continue to develop, refine, and evaluate alternatives for State Road 29 throughout the remainder of the study. Potential environmental effects associated with the proposed build alternatives are under careful evaluation and include detailed studies of wetlands, floodplains, threatened and endangered species, water quality, hazardous materials, recreational sites, noise, air quality, historic structures, and archaeological sites. Based on data already collected, we do not anticipate significant effects associated with the proposed build alternatives. The evaluation matrices included in your handout show a summary of results of preliminary analysis for the build and no-build alternatives, as well as the different intersection improvement alternatives. The matrices are also on display this evening. FDOT is asking local governments, regulatory agencies, and the public to provide comments about the proposed alternatives under consideration. Your comments will help the department to make its selection of the preferred alternative. We encourage you to complete the comment form in your handout and drop it in one of the boxes provided, or, if you prefer, you may mail your comments, postmarked by December 10, 2022, 10 days after the meeting, to the address on the comment form. You may also submit comments through the project website, using the website address listed in your handout. The project team will consider all comments and, where feasible, incorporate them into the development of the preferred alternative. FDOT will present the preferred alternative at an upcoming formal public hearing for this project, tentatively scheduled for spring 2023. At the end of this study and after the formal public hearing, FDOT will finalize the preferred alternative for State Road 29. The department anticipates completing this concept reevaluation by fall 2023 when the FDOT Office of Environmental Management accepts the location and design concept of the preferred alternative. At this time, the FDOT's adopted five year work program includes funding for design and right of way. The construction phase is currently funded for 2030. However, the department is looking for opportunities to advance construction to an earlier year. We will mail project newsletters to keep you informed about the study's progress. If you would like to receive future newsletters and you are not on our mailing list, please fill out the comment form in the handout. You may also visit the project website at swflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4178788 for the latest study information, schedule, and upcoming events. The State Road 29 team is here tonight to answer your questions and listen to your comments. 
we invite you to speak with them and to review the aerial maps, plans, and illustrations on display. Thank you for your interest in the proposed State Road 29 improvements and for taking time to participate in this alternative public workshop. We look forward to your comments and your continued involvement in this concept reevaluation. And finally, an FDOT safety moment. No excuses, never drive impaired. FDOT thanks you for making safety a continued priority.